What's going on everyone? Thank you for joining me on this reaction journey. Today is Jojo's Bizarre Adventure episode 12. Last time we left off, Jojo defeated Strizo and Speedwagon's alive. Now there's a new threat, the Pillar Man. I'm excited to see how Jojo deals with that, so let's go. Something right. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's someone watching. Careful, Jojo. Oh, watch it. Ooh. But you were tailing him. Okay, he's with the army. That looks like Dio. That really does. This animation is beautiful, though. Da -da -da. I'm starting to like this intro more and more. <laughs> Yo, what? What is up with y'all using these, the tongue like that? <laughs> ah, cacti. Cactus. Get up, George. Aw, oh, not, not. Get your boot off his face. Are, are you doing the script thing too? Oh, what, what is this? <laughs> ah, that's what you get. That, there you go. Joseph is awesome. Yeah, true serum. Aww. Hey, where is the, uh, where's Dono Bang? <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> the gargling. Listen to him. I, I don't think that's going to be effective. Oh, okay, okay. What is the water? Oh no, man! Y'all don't know what y'all messing with. Okay. This is creepy. <laughs> uh, all right, dude. Yes, yeah, Speedwagon's terrified for a reason. You guys just don't learn. Ooh, what, what just happened? Does that even... Oh, what is this? He's absorbing it. Okay, this is a problem. Is what? Why, why is he posing like that? What? Yeah, yeah, perverts. This is this is wrong. Hit this man! <laughs> uh, of course, of course. The skies didn't work. Why is he working like that? <laughs> I thought they were gonna be done. There it is. <laughs> Tacos. Oh, he got it out. Oh, they're gonna see what happened. I'm almost nervous to see how he got out. Oh, uh. oh, wow, oh man. All right, it's time to run. Well, you guys can stay there, but Speedwagon needs to get out of there. Oh, okay, that makes sense. You might want to back away. Oh, he. He pulled a Majin Buu! Oh. This is too much! This is wild! That smile! Yeah, it's so creepy! Uh, I don't think this is mindless. Die. 
It exploded from the finger. Jojo! Oh, the music hyping up. He got a theme song. <laughs> Get down! He has a barrier. Alright, uh, and he regenerated, yep, of course. <laughs> that was Jojo's Bizarre Adventure episode 12. Here's some thoughts. Major von Stroheim gargles a lot and it looks like he's gargling water. So gargling salt water helps with mouth sores and sore throats. I'm not sure if he's dealing with some kind of inflammation, but it's worth pointing out. This is just me, but the pillar that San Viento was in, it reminded me of a tree. I actually thought it was a tree back in episode 10. It looks like a twisted version of a tree with stone roots. It could also be the coloring that helps give that impression. With Speedwagon, I'm pleased that he's alive. But what's interesting is that He's in a straitjacket as opposed to handcuffs. Straitjackets are used to restrain people who may harm themselves or others, but I'm reminded of scenes in other movies where someone who is insane is placed in a straitjacket. Going back to another James Cameron movie, Terminator 2, Linda Hamilton's character, Sarah Connor, knows about an apocalyptic future where machines wage war against humanity. She survived an encounter with one of those killer robots and eventually got put in a mental prison facility. The professionals there didn't believe anything she had to say. So even even though Speedwagon isn't dealing with therapists, there are still some similarities. Speedwagon survived a dangerous encounter, witnessed something that is a threat to humanity. Even some of his reactions and dialogue shows how traumatized he is and no one listens to him. I love the contrasting in this series. Jojo tried to sneak into a facility with an awful disguise and he got caught. He had to try a different way. Compare that to San Viento, he found a way to slip out of that chamber without anyone realizing it. And with the way his body can be torn through and regenerate, San Viento reminds me of Majin Buu from Dragon Ball Z. He also reminds me of the T-1000 from, you guessed it, Terminator 2. The T-1000 from Terminator 2 is a cold like killing machine capable of sneaking around without people realizing it. A common statement or idiom is, you look like you've seen a ghost. It generally means that you're terrified. The phrase especially works well when a character sees another character from the past. In this case, we have a character from the past, San Viento, who terrifies Speedwagon. So the ghost's expression fits him perfectly. That's it for episode 12. Onward to episode 13. Please like, share, comment, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Take it easy.